Hello. Welcome back to the bulk. This is episode 14. I believe I got last week messed up. So anyway, yesterday was my birthday. Thank you all who wished me a happy birthday. And, and to those of you who sang me a happy birthday, extra special thanks to you. I got more birthday songs yesterday than I think I have gotten in my whole life. So anyway, today um, I wanted to just kind of update you a little bit what's going on. I'm just sort of plugging along, I guess you could say. I don't really feel like I'm getting stronger at the moment. Um, so since I was sick a couple of weekends ago, it was sort of like that was the day that I was supposed to start my new program on Monday. I was sick the Saturday before. And so anyway, that, that kind of hindered my strength, I believe. It just sort of had to work back up into it a little bit. Monday was supposed to be leg day and I'm like, there is just no way as bad as I felt that I was going to do legs that day. So anyway, I switched my workouts a little bit around. I still got them all done. However, I'm now in um, week two of this new program that I am doing. And um, I'm just still, I mean, I'm struggling, y'all. You know, I know that you know sometimes how it is to lack motivation. And sometimes you have to sort of assess why. Um, what is driving you? What is your why? Why are you doing this in the first place? Obviously, my goal is to gain more muscle to compete better in 2020 than I have. But with my, I was in a deload the week leading up to when I got sick. So it was just a little bit, um, it almost kind of made me lag a little bit more. So anyway, I have got to get re-energized somehow. I am overworked and overstressed and it probably has a lot to do with it. So just have to find different tools to deal with those kind of situations. And I know that you know what I'm talking about. So let me know what you struggle with, um, what you need help with, um, as far as your program goes, I would be more than happy to answer any comments you have. You can post those below. So right now, let me go into my three holiday tips for this week. Okay, so um, tip number one for this week is use a calendar. All right, so it can be any kind of calendar. Um, it can be a planner. It could be a workout journal. I, I, this is my current workout journal. And it has like all of my stuff that I do um, workout wise in it. But something like an actual calendar that has the days on it. I mean, I even like a wall calendar, but schedule out your workouts. Schedule out your meals if you need to. Like if you have trouble around the holidays, um, staying on track with your food, plan your things out. If you do not plan, you are going to not be as likely to stay on track. So plan these things out. Even if you can plan, um, you know, your lunches every day or your breakfast every day, but try to stay on track as much as possible. Don't let the holiday things throw you off. So use a calendar to help you stay on track, especially um, for your workouts, but also for your meals. Um, tracking just really helps you be successful, okay? Number two tip is get a workout partner, okay? You need some accountability. If you have to work out alone, a coach is a great way to have accountability, okay? So you need somebody to check in with, either somebody waiting on you at the gym or somebody that you can check in with daily, like a coach. So you can keep yourself accountable through them. All right, so, you know, find someone who pushes you. Work harder in the gym. So, you know, if you tend to struggle to get to the gym and you know somebody's waiting on you or you know how coach is there waiting for you to check in, that is going to be very helpful. And tip number three, make a modified holiday dish, okay? Or for if you have, um, like we usually have Christmas brunch at my mom's. So if I have um, 
if it's my job to bring a recipe, I can make a healthier version, okay? So find a new recipe that you can modify and make it better. Um, there are lots of different ways that you can make things lower in fat, higher in protein, um, but still be delicious. So if you have a recipe that you need help with, let me know that as well. I can give you some tips on substitutes you can make if you don't know. Um, but those three things are my tips for this week. So please let me know if you have any questions. I love to hear back from you. I love to hear your um, thoughts and your feedback. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll talk to you soon.